When creating a certificate, keep in mind that you are setting up a template for the term. To take the greatest advantage of the automation, you will use this same form throughout the term, adding holders as they are requested. Once we enter the coverages and perhaps a generic description of operations, you will click the cert holders menu icon on the toolbar and begin listing any holders to whom you need to issue certificates. If you had a certificate last term, you can pre-fill the form from another to bring in the existing holder list. Use the generic cert holder list option to get a report of the existing holders, and you can send the report as a PDF to the client for review. If the client requests deletion of a holder, simply select the holder, choose the option to delete marked holders, then do it. This holder will be removed from this form, but still exists on the prior version if copied through the prefill function. You can add additional holders by either importing them from the master list or using the add new holder option. First, see if they're listed in the master, and if so, select the holder and use the add marked holders to current form option. You can then edit the holder record to make any needed changes. If you do not find the holder in the master list, click add new holder and then do it. As you add the holder, you want to complete at least the first three fields. If you plan to utilize the email directly to holder option, you will enter the holder's email address in the email field. The provided checkboxes are override options used only for holders that have coverage exceptions. If the form is filled the way you want it, leave all of these fields blank. Strike Endeavor 2 and Number of Days to Cancellation will only apply to old version forms, so no need to address those fields. If the description of operations filled on the form is the proper wording for this holder, leave the override description of operations box blank. Otherwise, enter here the description of operations specific to this holder. The first icon above this box allows you to save commonly used wording to autofill into the description of operations. To add wording, click the plus icon and type in the desired wording, or click the second icon to bring up the text from the holder's description of operations. To add the saved wording to the holder, click the first icon. The description of operations field is limited to seven lines of entry and will attempt to size down the font to fill as much as possible when the text reaches the natural field end. Once you've entered the information, click Done. If you are using electronic output options, return to the certificate to add your signature. Then back in the holder menu, choose the Mark Holders to Print option. If you were wishing to send a packet of certificates with all listed holders, you can check the Mark Unmark All option, which will check all holders. If you're just sending a single certificate for a new holder, you will likely find only that new holder marked and can simply click OK. Your distribution options are Print, Email Customer, or Email Cert Holders. If you wish to print, you can click Yes. If you choose the email customer option, you will be presented an email form with a packet containing a page per holder. The email cert holders directly will provide a template to write an email body and then alert you to any marked holders who are missing email addresses. If you prefer to save the certificates as a PDF file, click cancel and then choose save as PDF file from the file menu. Place and name the file and be sure to wait for the message that it's complete before attempting to open the PDF file, as this could take some time to compile depending on the number of listed holders. 